CDL Book Club, Jeff Mills right here on CDL Book Club grounds. This is the air brake test. So if you have a class A or B without air brakes, this is the test that you have to conduct. You don't have to have a, air, a class A vehicle to conduct this test. It could be a B truck just to get your air brakes. So I'm gonna start with my keys in my pocket and my wheels are going to be chalk. And I'm gonna start with the braking system. So come on in. And so I'm gonna start with my ABS line. The brake hose are not cracked, not broken and secure. Not driver out of the fray and no leaks. The brake chamber is not cracked, not broken and secure. And not dented, no leaks. The push rod and slack adjuster is not cracked, not broken and secure. And no legal wells, no loose or missing parts. When you pull on it by your hand, you should not be able to pull on it no more than one inch with the brakes released. Now, inside the wheel is the brake drum. It's not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. And the brake drum is not dented. Inside the brake drum is the, is the brake shoe line. It's not cracked, not broken and secure. No illegal wells, no loose or missing parts. And the, and the brake shoes are not worn dangerously thin. Now, we go to the drive axle, and I will inspect my drive axle braking system parts the same way as I inspected my braking system parts in the front by naming the ABS line, the brake hose, the brake chute, I'm sorry, the ABS line, the brake hose, the brake chamber, the push rod, slack adjuster, the brake drum, and the brake chute lining. I will inspect all these parts the same way as I inspected them in the front. And here you have to be CDL minded. You gotta be CDL minded. You can't see the parts, so they gotta you gotta be able to see the parts. Got me? Now, right here, my air tanks are not cracked, not broken, and secure, and no leaks. Drain daily, free of condensation. Now I will enter the vehicle using three points of contact to perform my air brake test. It is a test, so before you put turn the truck on, make sure you put your seat belt on. Now, the we're going to I'm gonna turn my key on using a safe start. My ABS light went out. It probably worked. Now I'm waiting for my heater coil to go out. It went out, so I'm gonna turn the vehicle on. Build my air pressure up to the governor cutout rate. And this truck is 120 PSI. We want to build up enough air pressure to, to make sure that you have enough air in your, uh, in your system to perform the test. Okay, so we're there. Now, the first test that I'm going to perform is my parking brake test which is the tug test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my vehicle in drive and tap my accelerator and tug against the parking brake. And it should, the parking brake should hold, starting now. Now I'm going to tap the accelerator. I tap the accelerator, my brake held, it probably worked. Now I'll put the vehicle in neutral explain the service brake test and for the service brake test i will drive five miles an hour forward apply the brake and it should not pull to the right or pull to the left or the right with no unusual feeling now for the third test i'm going to put three fingers up and i'm going to one turn the truck off two turn the key on so the dash lights up three push in the parking brake Starting now. One, turn the truck off. Two, turn the key on so my dash lights up. Three, push in the parking brake. Let the air settle. The air settle. Now, I'm going to hold my service brake down for one minute. And 
I should not lose no more than three PSI. And I'm gonna keep my eyes on the time and on my air pressure gauges. Starting now. This test is to show that you do not have the air leak in your system. Now let's say the minute is up. Minute is up, I move my foot, and I say that I did not lose no more than three PSI. Now I'm going to fan my brakes down to 60 PSI, and my low air pressure buzzer and indicator should come on, and then I will continue to fan my brakes down to 40 to 20 PSI and my parking brake that I pushed in should pop out starting now. Buzzer came on, it probably worked. My parking brake popped out, you heard it. It probably worked. Now I turn the truck off take my key out and say this concludes my air brake test and this concludes my pre-trip if you are interested in getting your CDL come to CDL book club at 401 Main Street Laurel Maryland sweet letter A is an apple or visit us on the web at the CDL book and you can give us a call you can give me a call directly at 240-581-2452. CDL Book Club is where you get CDL minded. And you can also purchase the greatest pre-trip books for class A and B, the exam, the CDL Book Club exam book is all, these books are all on Amazon and also the skills book. And that's on amazon.com as well. And this is Jeff Mills. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. CDL Book Club is where you get CDL minded. See you soon.